okay, you're convinced. You're already packing up your condo in the city and you've added my phone number as one of your favorites because you are making the move to Muskoka. Not so fast. Have you ever had to think twice about what you're flushing down the toilet? Or have you ever questioned where exactly your property lines are? Probably not living in a 600 square foot condo. It makes it pretty easy to tell where your condo begins and ends. But in this video, I'm gonna give you some insight on the three key factors you need to be aware of when buying in a rural area like Muskoka. If we haven't met before, my name is Brittany Evans. I'm a local realtor in Muskoka. I've experienced helping buyers make the move from the big city into small town life. I've grown up and currently live full time in Muskoka, but for some time in between, I was living in downtown Toronto. I know that there are some major differences between living in the city and living in a rural area. And before you make the decision to move to Muskoka, you need to listen up. The first major difference between condo life and rural living is that the majority of the properties in Muskoka are on wells. Subdivisions and newer developments in close proximity to town are on municipal water, just like the city. But if your dream is to move to Muskoka and own enough land so you can't see your neighbors, then your property will most likely be on a well. What is a well, you ask? A well is a hole drilled into the ground to access water, and then a pipe and a pump are used to pull water out of the ground. Being on a well means you have your own water source. It's more cost effective, tastes differently, feels differently, and honestly has done wonders for my hair. With a well comes great responsibility. This is your only source of water. You need to make sure it does not become contaminated and make sure there are no leaky faucets and your house parties are kept at a minimum because depending on the depth of your water, well and your water intake, you could run into it drying up. The second major difference between condo life and rural living is you actually have to care about what you flush down the toilet because if your property is on a well, it is most likely on a septic system. A septic tank is a watertight container that's buried somewhere in your yard and accepts all of the sewage from your house. Sewage includes not only the toilet waste, but shower, sink, kitchen, and washing machine wastewater as well. Having a septic system doesn't have to be scary. All you have to do is maintain it regularly. Make sure your water is being used efficiently. Be mindful of what you flush down the toilet or wash down the sink and have it pumped out by a professional every three to five years. It's when you don't maintain it that can lead to major issues like sewage back. The last major difference between condo life and rural living has to do with waterfront properties. Muskoka has over 1,600 lakes. One of the biggest draws to Muskoka is the opportunity to live year round or seasonally on the lake. Okay, so you're probably thinking, what's the big deal? That sounds perfect. Well, when you buy a condo in Toronto, you know exactly what you're getting. Essentially, you walk through the front door and this is what you own. In Muskoka, waterfront properties specifically can be a tad more complicated. All waterfront properties have a 66 foot stretch of land along your shoreline that you might not own. This is called a shore road allowance. Why is this something that you should care about? Well, for many, there's no direct impact. Either the shore road is grandfathered in and you can enjoy the waterfront dock and boathouse with no impact, but for some, it can be an issue, especially when you're looking to sell the property or build a new dock or boathouse that doesn't conform to the current zoning standards, or when there's complaints from public use of lands from boats, ATVs, snowmobiles, you get the point. The good news is you can buy that parcel of shore road from your township and close it off, which resolves 99% of any future issues. Purchasing a property on the water in Muskoka can be complicated. So that's why it's important to work with a local realtor who knows what you need to know before you buy in Muskoka. The three key factors that I provide you with are just a high level overview of what you need to know before buying a property in Muskoka. In my next video, I'm gonna share with you my five favorite things about living year round in Muskoka. Forewarning, there's seriously no way you'll be able to resist making the move north after watching it. It's always important to work with a local realtor, especially one who has the knowledge and experience that you need to make an informed decision. 
If you have any questions about what it's like to own a property in Muskoka and you would like to get your search started, please give me a call or text and I'd love to have a chat with you over some coffee.